Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are in Dinkum, and we are now able to save. Sorry I wasn't able to stream yesterday, but the save would not work. Okay, so today we're going to be visiting our visitor site, and we're going to be decorating this area. Again, sticking with the cottage core theme. We have Clover's visiting today, but we're not really focusing on that. We're focusing on, we're going to be doing the decorations. Hope everybody's having a great day today. It's Tuesday. Hope you're all doing well. We got kind of a yucky day today. We got a bunch of storms happening, and we're under tornado watches, and Hopefully, we don't get any of that kind of stuff. Let's just move a little bit more of this land here. So we have a little bit more room to decorate. Alright, we're going to throw down a couple grass seeds right here. Let's just grab the mower real quick. Move this last little strip. I've been playing a lot of Lego Fortnite. I'm really enjoying that game. Alright, so. The idea is we want to keep this our cottage core theme. And this here is going to be our continued walkway. So we want to put down our path. So we know where we can start with the decorating. So our path is going to go out this way. Alright, so we have that area there. Now what I think we might do, let's get rid of these trees. out of the way. We might not... Oh, I better eat my stuff before I run out of... Now we can go all the way through with the path, but I'm just going to do this for now. We might go this way with a path. Depends on how much real estate we need to do. Alright, so here, my idea is we're going to need to do fencing. We don't want a bunch of croc gators coming up here and attacking villagers, or our visitors. Alright, so what fence do we want to use here? I think we'll just go with the gumwood fence. Matches the bridges that we're using. So let's do this. This way it'll keep any crocodilers out of the visitor site from this section anyway. I mean they can still come in from behind, but we'll keep some of them out anyway. And we may need to move some of this back to make sure they don't get in from the back either. <coughs> Alright, so we also want to do, keeping with the cottage core theme, we're going to do a few trees. We're not going to do a lot. So we got our pine and our gum nut. So let's say we do a gum nut here. Why won't you let me drop that? Oh, that's weird. Huh, what's going on? 
going on? I'm not over here. Not that close. Let's do it right here. And then we'll do a pine here. Let's just do one gum nut here in the middle, sort of. I mean, it's going to be a little off. But it is cottage core, and you don't want it completely symmetrical anyhow. You just want it having that country feel. Alright, so we have that done. Now let's see what else do we want to do here. We might have to extend a tad bit this way. So let's move the lawnmower. <laughs> Look at that ponytail. <laughs> that was funny. Alright, so let's compact this. Get some more dirt out of the way. Okay, let's do that. Now we're going to need to get rid of this other colored grass. I want it all green. So let's just first we gotta get rid of these billy buttons. Throw down some padding. It's one of the quicker ways to get rid of the yellow. I mean you can do it the other way with the shovel. But I like doing it that way. It's quicker. Then you just take your jackhammer and you bunk it out. So, we'll get this going. We'll throw our grass seed down. Keep the grass seed even. Go across here. Of course, that means we're going to have to mow a little bit again. Sorry, the, the mowing process is a bit boring to watch. Hopefully it won't take too long. I just want to show you the entire build because I don't like doing speed builds. I like you to see the entire process. I think it helps you if you're one of the people that has more of a hard time building. I know a lot of people are getting way better at building than they thought they could. A lot of people didn't think they could build. What are you doing? Wow. Push the right button. So, as I was saying, a lot of people don't think they're good at building, but there are some amazing builders that they just don't give themselves enough credit. Personally, I'm not that good at building. I think... There are way better builders than I am. One of the differences between me and some of the other builders is they like to do the whole process out. They'll do graph paper. They'll do sketches. They'll do... Me? Not so much. I just wing it. <laughs> like that ponytail flying up in here like that. That's kind of funny. I just like winging it. it to me that way I can get what it's going to look like for real not on paper because we all know that in games you can sketch something out on paper but when it comes to the actual build it may not look the way you wanted it to once you actually place it in the game world all right, okay, now we want to give them a type of seating area. So let's take a look at seating. 
what we can throw down. Okay, so let's move some of this out of the way. So we have room to place these items. Now we're only going to want one. We want a barbecue. We're going to want a campfire. Now let's see what chairs should we use for this area here. I think I'm going to use the uh, dark wood sofa. Let's get two of those. And let's grab two of the chairs. Let's grab this for now. So let's throw down our sofas first. So we're going to have one here, one here, and let's throw down our chair, you know what, we may go get another chair so it's not off centered like that, let's grab one, uh, two more chairs, that's going to bug me. can't even them up like that. Whoops. And we may want to move this couch back. I guess it's even right there. Alright, so let's throw down a barbecue. Because if I move this couch back, then I'm going to move the chairs too. So let's just leave it like that. Let's take a look at a couple of small coffee tables. See if we can place one in there. If not, we'll just leave it without the coffee table. Let's see what this will look like. If we can center it. And we can't. Alright, never mind that. We'll leave it without a table. Okay, so over this area, I think I'm going to throw down... No, I'm going to do trees over there. So let's grab... So we have a dining area. I'm going to grab the dark wood table. Now we need some chairs. Now what chairs should we use? Let's take a look at this one and we'll take a look at the dark wood ones and see which ones look better. So we got the table. Take a look at the dark wood. Yeah, I think we'll go with the dark wood chairs. Alright, so let's grab some more of those. Get rid of this one. Uh, let's see. Let's put two here. that. Now, let's grab, where the hell is it? Let's grab a tiki bar. Or, oh, it's called beach bar, I forget. Uh, let's grab one of these. Let's grab a couple of umbrellas. Alright, so let's throw the beach bar down. this way. Yeah, let's put that there. There's a couple 
umbrellas to get some shade. So let's see what we want to do here. Rue, get out of here. Um, what do we want to do with this? Because our walkway is going to continue past here. So we want this a little bit more secluded here. So let's do a few more trees. We'll grab our, our seeds. So we've got a gum nut there. So let's do a pine here. Walk a couple steps, go down the gum nut. How many of y'all had the uh, save issue? I went through yesterday and I got the uh, area all prepped and, you know, ready for putting the villagers, uh, visitors, I keep saying villagers now, visitor site over here. And I spent like an hour getting the site ready, and then it wouldn't save. I was so frustrated, I did not know what was wrong. Alright, so let's throw down a sleeping bag and sleep till the next day. No, you know what? Let's just use dev commands. Let's do next day change. That way the trees will grow too. Hopefully this works. Do it again. Let's just get our trees grown up a bit. And let's do one more. So we got our trees growing up a little bit. So you can start to see the bit of seclusion here that we're going for. Now I think I'll fill in these spaces like we did with the others. We'll use the water brush and the bottle brush. So let's throw some of those down. Let's do the bottle brush and the wattle seed. So we'll do the bottle brush, wattle seed. Yeah, I'm having issues with the sound too. I don't know what's going on with that. this. Get that done. Okay, now we've got here, bottle brush, bottle seed. And we got one last. We'll do the bottle brush. Alright, okay. Now we got that. And then we'll figure out if we want to do bushes over here too or if we might do like the acacia trees so let's sleep now that we got that planted that way it'll save for us our progress so far Sleeping bag. Alright, 
So now let's figure out what we want to do over here. I want to see what the acacia tree would look like. Is that it? Or is that something different? I may have to use the number and I don't know the numbers. So let's see what this looks like. scratch that. It's too close. Let's put it in the middle. So let's chop this down. Try that again with putting it in the right place this time. So let's grab our acacia seed. Let's grab a few of them. Now this time let's put it in the middle. Alright, so let's put it there. It's going to be too close on that one. So let's place it here. And we only got two here, so that's not going to work there. Those will be have to be, uh, we'll have to do seeds or something in that spot. Because it'd just be too overcrowded with trees. So let's grab the bottom brush and let's just alternate these again. bottom brush. Now with the seeds, it will be um, shorter than the trees, so they will still have a bit of a view of the river. It won't block the view entirely, but they will still have a bit of privacy back here. I'm going for more of a campsite vibe on this one than so-called visitor's site. Alright, so let's do that. Now here, I think back here, once we get all the front area done, back there I think I will do a row of trees also, maybe the jet, uh, the purple trees, acacia trees. So over in this area, let's do a fire pit zone where they can come sit by the fire. So I want to do the log stumps for this. So let's grab four of these. set myself on fire and I just did that wrong I'm gonna have to I never really pay attention to the arrows but if you don't you won't sit the right direction so let's pick this up make sure our arrows are facing the right way will be facing the correct way. So you can sit by the fire, roast some marshmallows, you know, roast a hot dog on a stick. Now, over on, whoops, wrong button. I want to, I want to do a couple of counters over there. So let's grab two of the gumwood kitchen counters over here. 
gives them a little prep area. Now beside the tiki bar, we're going to go throw down a couple of tiki torches. Let's just do two tiki torches for now. And then we're going to give ourselves a little bartender here. So we're going to grab the dude statue. Um, the one that looks like John. We'll place him there. We've got a little bartender. Now we want to grab the. Uh, looks like wine set. Add a little bit of decoration with that. It would help if I could remember the name. So we'll grab a red one and a blue one. So let's put this one here. Let's face it the right way. Same thing with this one. Okay, there's our bar. Now, we could do... more of a fencing here, if we wanted to. But let's get this fully grown up first. Let's do next day change. if I could type today. Let's do a couple more. Oops. Come on. Alright, so now see how we got a bit of privacy going on. Our walkway will go this way. We'll go through here. We just have to figure out where we're going to actually enter. Probably right here will be our actual entry into the... So let's grab a gumwood arch. a little bit of an entryway into the site, just like so. And we're going to need to get rid of all of this stuff. Alright, so you get the idea of where we're going with this, okay? So I'm going to leave this episode here, and in the next episode, we will f continue doing the X external and some touch-ups in here um but you get an idea of where we're going with this one so please if you would click the like and subscribe buttons and have yourselves an amazing day thanks for watching